Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. In the last video, I finished up the first half of Labyrinth Force, and these two got a change of clothes, and Alphano a change of job. And in this video, we're going to be going with the boys to Favnir. For Favnir bound, Vancred is eager to set forth for Favnir. I have Kryal's instructions in hand. If you are ready to set out, then so are we. Having been to Favnir before, I can travel by Etherite. But what of the rest of you? Another Z sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Kryal was of the same mind and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We will take ourselves there. The Confluence, thou sayest. I'm afraid so, my friend. Uh-oh. Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart, unto whose sanctuary we delivered thee, owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbreeder. Oh yeah, the one you made a wind-up uh, minion of. Uh-huh. Moonbreeder was an authority on ephorology. A field of study she did embark upon, in pursuit of her parents' example. Oh no, are we going to meet her parents? Uh oh. Both of authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Haven't you gone to see them yet? I attempted to do so earlier. But to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. As it hath, the many times I have fought to reach out to them after sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. You keeping your silence? That's a new one. Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. Well, Fankrid can't make bullets, so he's kind of screwed. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the Confluence, and I shall face that which have long been overdue. It is settled, then. Or if it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we should look for a researcher named Kaite. Uh, is that a Mikote? Need to change that over. That wasn't anything bad. Yeah. What did that say? Feel free to activate the level of free buffs. Okay. I'll just keep that in. That wasn't bad. Besides, anyone can probably look up my bloody company name. If you know the company name, feel free to put it in the comments section below. <sighs> My god, that Donkey Kong rap. Translated. KD. <sighs> right, so out of this laggy, laggy zone. Oh, that's not too far away. Right, time to meet Moonbreeder's parents! So about your daughter, lad, decided to sacrifice herself to destroy one fourteenth of an Asian. Hello. Well now, this is well, a lot of stern faces on my library books overdue again. Now to our knowledge, we're associates of Kryal of the students of Baldessian. We seek passage to Favnir and understand that you can assist us. 
Ah, the test subjects. The what? Welcome, welcome. Test subjects? Oh, hadn't you hadn't heard? Well then, allow me to explain. So in order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the live stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible limitation of etherite teleportation. But what if I tell you that there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? Is this how I get to the moon? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've laboured to make th such travel possible that people might move about more freely. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly? That changes everything. Well, my knowledge may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but etherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other thereby facilitating travel between two points. But it just so happens that our first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Charlene, while the other in Yedlimad, a port town in Favnir. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Radatan, and indeed we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So, to sum up, where to test these etherites? How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all, as a matter of fact. You might say these etherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. A veritable dream come true, and far be it from me to worry about such things. But do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set. It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the livestream. In a statistically unlikely event, let's think it was or I. But it's plain that you aren't the most people. <laughs> Mr. Cryle truly knows how to pick them. If I might change the subjects, are Master Wilson and Mistress Bluida not present today? Oh, you didn't hear? They recently resigned their posts. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. A large-scale project helmed by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. I see. You get off another day, buddy. Any other questions? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Ifrite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Alright, so they're in on it as well. Well, I suppose the save's going by boat. I wouldn't want to go along the Siren Song Sea again. Uh-huh. Okie dokie. You know, I'm tempted to pick this up. Yeah, might as well. It should be the Hunt Train. Well, not the Hunt Train, but... Diminutive Gleaner. The Hunt for Specimens. The Diminutive Gleaner is on the lookout for an able-bodied adventurer. Do mine eyes deceive me, or are you marriage to Grindini? Well, as I live and breathe, it is you. Ha <laughs> ha. I knew you'd... Be the f I knew I'd be the first to track you down. Who's the guild ship's top hunter now, eh? Wait, you have heard of guild ship hunts, right? They are not so different from the hunts you're familiar with in Eorzea, as I understand it. I'd wager they're far more challenging, but an adventurer of your caliber would never turn down a challenge, would you? No, no, you would not. Pray speak with Norfo Norforta at the Peristyle to register your interest at to interest to register your interest at your earliest convenience. <sighs> Alright, let's get these hunts unlocked. Let's see if I can get anything with said hunts. Or with said nuts that I have. Can I check to see? Nope. 
I must have completed what? Unleashing dangerous ultra now, no to you. Alright, Nofota. I am Nofota. You, have you come to place a bounty on an unruly beast? No, I've come to hunt them. Right, a scholar, your Mariash now is half convinced I'd set the others on an impossible task, asking them to find you. The Gleaners Guild ship has begun posting hunt bills, you see, in the hopes of that capable individuals will take up arms to lighten our ever-increasing load. Unfortunately, capable individuals remain striking point. Few hailing from our fair polis are willing to take up arms, let alone stand against the more fearsome specimens. You, however, had the experience and the grit that we need. When I heard that you arrived on our shores, there was music to my ears. You need work for free, of course. We've done our research, and the rewards we offer are as fine as any you'll find abroad. The currency we employ is a relic of times when Glena was a great deal less figuratively, so you might find it somewhat eccentric. But it's as good as Gil here. Speaking of eccentric, it should be noted that the majority of our clients are scholars. You probably won't have heard of half the creatures they send you after. But I find it's not best to worry about that over much. Slay beasts, collect samples, try not to think about the long-term effects of touching said samples, and get paid. Simple, no? That being said, I wouldn't dream of throwing you in the deep end just yet. Let's have you start off with some junior marks so you can get your feet wet. Well, So I assume I can now hunt one star ranks then. Or oh, one star marks. Did it? Freeze. There we go. You are now permitted to take bills for junior marks from Guildship Hunt boards in Old Charlene and Razatan. Defeat the monsters described on the bills and you will be rewarded with tokens that can be exchanged for exclusive items. To exchange tokens for exclusive items, speak with either you in or the chick behind me in Old Charlene or with Wilmetta at Razatan. Your quest will be accepted at 83. Lovely. Right, what can I get with you? Oh. 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 There's no mount here yet, is there? Well, damn. Wait a minute. Does that mean that the Titania wings are in the first? I might want to go take a look at that. I also might want to put that on the auction house. <laughs> hmm. Use. Use. And I might want to take a quick look in the first. So let's see, that would be under fashion. <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> oh, like a true dragon. I think I might get some whispers about where to get these. Ah, <laughs> uh, so be it. So be it. Oh, they're going to disappear when I talk to a bloody NPC, but, oh well, I got them. So now, where are the Titania wings? Hmm. Well, it was nice having them while I lasted. <laughs> oh, wait, I got a cat to use. No, wait, I did use a cat. Never mind. Okay, a little sidetrack later. Let's go to Pavnir! Are you voiced? Right. We're all set. Yes, you are. Lovely. Just the four of you, was it? Three. I am already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Yes, right there 
just fine. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. Oh, and one last thing. You might experience a teensy-weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck! What? I hope he's not sick on me. <laughs> We'll find out whenever it loads. Oh god, how crowded is Favnir going to be? Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> I guess it's finding an instance to put me in. I should probably look to see where to get the Titanium Wings. Let's see, what's the loading? FF14 Titania Wings. Oh. Well then. That's... That's one way to do it. Uh-huh. City state Rads Adha. Rising from the southeast waters of the bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay for a time. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? What chance? Against such an insidious foe. If only I could see the place due to the rain. I suppose it could be worse. It could be like in the GTA trilogy. True, true. I think we should have took the boat. I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. Oh, you would know, Estinian. Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. Just lock up, get the rainwater. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let Estinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Oh no. Okay, note to self, I've got two videos to edit. <laughs> you 
You managed to will yourself to your feet. But given your condition, will you be able to reach Justinian in time? Probably not. I'm surprised I don't have a debuff on me. <laughs> Uh, hello? Oh, yes? Can I click? It, it's not letting me move, is it? Um. Oh. Uh oh. I see. Well, I found Stinian, I guess. Aoife's sickness. Reducing movement speed. Yeah, get a honey muffin down you. Yeah. It's item level 21. But it should do you. Yeah. Astinian. Damn it. I'm so close. Hi. You there, I need free drinks. Something that helps with Aoife sickness. But by the man's Manusia, a traveller, I mean, I mean, greetings, greetings and welcome. You're wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Amrilassi, made with only the fresh, finest and freshest ingredients, is famed for calming unruly bellies. By way of a warm welcome to Fabnir, I am pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles of bargainum. Fuck off. Monk's bargains. Hmm. The price is highway robbery and you want to say as much to Estinian, but you realise any words of warning you cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. You must stand before an Estinian and using gestures deny that the trade is fair. Alright. Slash deny. Hmm, I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie? This merchant is swindling me? Ooh-ah! Sincerely, with apologies, sir. But I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for three bottles of lassie. Hmm, that confusion would have been costly for both of us. Well, very well, then. Your coin. Yeah, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. I'll be back after I explore the town. Let's see, that's... you think I would have drank it. It's not even in my inventory. I can't do anything with it. Can I do it with the wings? <laughs> I might as well get some use out of this. Uh-oh. I was going to say, did using it break the game? <laughs> Alright, Fancred. That teensy weensy touch, he says, not even my hardest night's drinking comes close. Where are we on, Jay? Yeah, take this Amaral Lassie. Praise be to the twelve, my stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart felt thanks to be an Astinian, and to the fine fruits of this land. You were in time, excellence, you spared us to Tyro's wrath. I mean, 20k ain't bad. Sweet, sweet reliefs, if you haven't already, you should have yours too. Why didn't I have mine? First, why? Right, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. But thy hair? I have bound it. There's the most I could do against this heat short of shedding my armor. May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. The man said it was Fevnirian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? 
Nein. <sighs> Stinian. Stinian. That's over 9,000, Gil. It's over 9,000! That's incredible. I dare say not even alcohol. Alpha note could handle a cut handle to you. It's not a comment for merchants to sell the prices high, but it doesn't seem excessive here. All Hanish merchants are unscrupulous. I expected to actually have to cream a bit more, up more but up more of a fight. There you are, excessive. Something's up. I'm inclined to agree to find an assessment. It does seem excessive, unusually so. Claiming Favnir as its dominion, the nation of Radatan have long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the Arcasodara, the Arcasodara, the, the Arcasodara tribe, a Matonga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their intermingling, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles. The projects of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over, a development only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint between betwixt east and west. All of this have combined to make a trading power of Radatan, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through ju judicious government and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travellers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so that opportunistic pricing is rampant, doth suggest that oversight is much weakened, or mayhap that the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, should be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, aye. We have not to lose by learning more. So, ere we seek out Kryle's acquaintance, acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in Yedlimad? Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Well... Guess I'm waiting on these guys to appear. Hey, that's you. Let me click you! <sighs> Thou art assured that I am quite recovered, lassie. Truly is a boon for unruly stomachs. All right, where's Mr. Mr. Ponytail? Oh God, this is nearly as bad as the other place I was in. Is it truly so amusing to see my hair bound? Tis how I used to wear it, a functional fashion. Oh, yeah, probably while you were wearing a helmet. Perhaps you're confused how you found me following Nidhogg's demise. It had fallen loose after the Chirurgans, Chirurgans removed me from my armor and put me to bed. I simply decided to leave it that way for a time, seeing as I would not don the Azure Dragoon's helm again. Huh. Bit of of that. On low tide. And for that, horse chestnut hand gear piece. His stomach behaving once more, Banquet is ready to get to work. Right, let's split up and make inquiries in town. The pier is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we are grouped by the Ephrite. Of putting no at the mere sight of it, maybe. Okay. God, I could just explore the island right now. <laughs> How far would I get? That's the question. Ooh, a gemstone trader. Uh-huh. Game. Would you like to load? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's see, we got the same stuff. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh no, game, please. Please. <laughs> please. There we go. Okay, gather information. Create a fruit. The crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling, as they have been left too long. Hmm. That does sound bad. Pier. It does appear. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby isles, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to the other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. Alright. Uh, Jinalil. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sails. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has been has never been as terrible. But I suppose things could e be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat like Kelzal. I don't envy his position. But it'd be better better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realise. You're a traveller by looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit. He'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, he'll find him at the Salt Wind Sails, the Harbour Guild building across the water from here. You want me to go to that island? Really? Uh, what else can I click on? What's around here to click? Uh, nothing around there. There's you to talk to. Wait, am I? Well, I was walking on water. Uh, Kefiraz. Well, now it isn't a traveller. You're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since our accursed tower suddenly appeared in Narunair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, things would have been fine after a fashion, but no, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What will become of us, only the gods know. The Radiant Host? Hmm. What is a Radiant Host? Let's see, Kazal. Hello. The Dalmaskans aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's a tower sitting on our doorsteps spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defences, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Gah, but this will be an enormous loss. Alright, alright, forget about the Damascans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hanish favourites. Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is, quality is guaranteed. Ah, I know all these things, Kazal, I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. Did I just get a buzz on my phone? Okay, it's just bloody Discord. Tell you what, I'm burning that phone far away from me. And you are? Wait, you're a foreign, aren't you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. I see, that's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. 
Um, excuse me. M my name is Matsia, and I'm here to see Kalzal. Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later then. No wonder you're losing business. Sheesh. Uh, speak with Matsya. Okie dokie. I guess I'm waiting for him to spawn. There he is. You alright, buddy? You alright, buddy? Uh, yes, can I help you? Yeah, can you explain to me what the hell's going on on this island? Uh, I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kalzal too, did you? I'm Matsya, fisher of Akiali, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hard-working man, and I dare not disturb him. Okay, that's... Hmm. Let's see, a fisherman's friend. Matsya regards you nervously. Um, if I may ask, what is it like you do? A variety of things. An adventurer, you say, and you travel the world helping people? Then, that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? Oh, that is a bad idea. You see, I brought some fresh fish with me, the portion I can preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is, I'm terrible with people, and I've only ever dealt with Kalzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my tongue in a twist. Trunk in a twist. So please, as silly as it sounds, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? This is a quest? If you're willing, please let me know and we can begin at once. Oh no. The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You'll do it then. You show me how to deal with customers. I'm in your debt. Right, please try peddling my fish to, shall we say, free people here in Yedlamad. I will observe you and learn. He's now accompanying me. Keep him at your side. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, I was hoping you'd walk on the on the air like Graha. Oh. Hello. Oh god. Hmm? Yes? Greetings, friend. How far are you of late? Greetings to you too. I suppose I'm well enough given the circumstances. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone grabbing whatever they could, trampling over each other to get to the city. Many remain there for now, but I could not stay away. I had to come back, continue my life, such as it is. Whether or not it was the right choice, only time will tell. There's no place like home, but don't do anything dangerous, eh? Oh, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well clear of the tower, and when more monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope to deal with it soon, so we can go back to our normal lives, to the days when you could earn as much as you gave, and took into a meal satisfied that you did good work. Speaking of meals, why don't we have some fresh fish today? Hmm? Fresh fish, you say? Oh, you're a fishmonger! <laughs> When you bait me like that, how can I not bite? Very well, give me some of your fish. But thank you for your custom. The catch of the day is Shallow's Cod. Delectable stewed in coconut milk or baked with a sprinkle of salt. Whoa! Alright, get the info out of them and then sweeten the deal. At least that's how I did that. <laughs> alright, alright. God, I've been going for like nine hours. 
or technically seven and a half considering it took me what two hours to get into the bloody game all right Nashreen a hawker are you do you sell fruit by chance if so I want to buy some Amra let's say a dozen they don't need to be export quality uh, what do you need so many Amra for? Why, for eating, of course. It seem, may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. I am a stock trader by... stock taker by trade, but no vessel... with no vessels coming these days, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas, but not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down, and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. I know how you feel. Thank you, we're pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed a little chat. It took my mind off of my troubles for a moment. Uh oh. <clears throat> ne never mind, if nothing. <coughs> if nothing else, you left over a positive impression. Let's move on to the north side of town, shall we? Okay, I probably should ask her why she was hungry. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. Why am I given this kind of quest? Why? Let's see, where the... Oh, now I can see it properly. Uh, up the stairs, and there. Bazama. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! Oh, thanks. Clicking on you made my game crash. Ay, ay, ay. What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh, God, it's my stomach. Ugh. If a sickness? No, no, nothing so unusual. I'm in a hurry to get back to work. I just ate a little too quickly. Should take it easier, eat more slowly and save your food. Some fresh fish will settle your stomach. I think that might make him sick. Would that I could, but I cannot afford to be idle. Like as not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while I still can to better be prepared. How do you intend to prepare? Ask them questions. By stockpiling supplies, for that I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, what have you. Hmm. How about some fresh fish for your supplies? They're fresh caught. Aye, well, fish wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to go through the hassle of preserving them myself. I'd rather buy stuff that's ready to store. I'm afraid I'll have to pass on your fish now. Excuse me, I must be going back to work. Shit. I'm sorry! Too bad we couldn't make a sale, but we did manage to build something of a relationship. Thank you for your demonstration. It was truly an eye-opening experience. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry! <laughs> I gotta wonder if there's a way... It, hmm. Is there a way to get sales on the mall? I can see myself doing this in New Game Plus. Uh-huh. So, back over here then. I should have kept asking questions, like, did we have anything for that? I am sorry. Well, one out of three, I guess. <laughs> Could have been worse. So thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You might just sell one to... Of the, you might just sell to one of the three people you approached. It was difficult, but you must put your mind to it. You, but when you put your mind to it, you succeeded. Though well, you did fail too, now a lesson to be learned about success and failure. By applying yours, I'll endeavour to become a better peddler. I'm sorry. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope thing, that things will return to normal for Kalaza, Kal, Kalzal soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice. And who should it be but Matsya?
Kazala, have you finished your business at the guild? Ah, so you were there too. Forgive me, try as I might, I can't not find any buyers. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options at this rate. So you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsey, I am, truly am, but for now you must peddle your own goods. But by myself, I can't. Oh, I want to help you, I do, but as it stands, I can barely help myself. I've poured my all in the, into the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and family depending on me, and I can't. I won't fail them. The sisters as my witness. Kazal. Uh, not to worry. Using what I've learned for you, I'm sure I manage, somehow. Well, I'd best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. Oh, I feel bad. I could have showed them how to better do it. Well, how much I can do about that? Uh huh. What mount am I on this time? Oh, <laughs> takes a while to load in. Well, the queues have definitely gone better. Don't tell me you're parked on top of them. Oh my, on top of them. I guess I need to wait for them to load. <sighs> okay, that's Pancred. There's Uyon Jay and there's Astinian. Get, get off. Right, Astinian. There you are, gotten over the, sick, the ether sickness, have you? Mayhap, owing to the island's small size, the tower's impact upon the people's lives doth appear to be more pronounced than here in Eorzea. I see you've been busy, Manchalina Tidbit or two, I trust. Mm-hmm. This tower's fucked things up. I see we uh, also heard that the tower is affecting many locals' livelihoods, but to think that it would be to such an extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery... Oh, it's raining again. Disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. As before, the culprits are most likely certainly tempered Imperial soldiers. And as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call for Faluna Primal. Business as usual for the Tlothroi. Oh boy. Let's see. House of Divinities. Anyway, I'll do that next time. <laughs> Okie dokie. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. This has been Dragon of Eternity going through more Final Fantasy XIV and Walker MSQ. In this video, I got to... Why is there a... Stepper Child? Okay, I assume that's going to be an Aoife current. Okay, so in this video, I got to Favnir and I've done a few of the quests here. Next time, I'll be talking to Asinian and continuing the quests. So with that planned out for you is with my rambling hopefully now done, until next time.